What's up everybody? It's no Joe Coward coming at you live from Phnom Penh, Cambodia. It's actually a pretty nice day outside. It's uh, not too hot. And I'm surprised too because it's uh, it, it's supposed to be the rain season here in Phnom Penh. Let me just see this see this gorgeous. Let me like like look at my face. Like look at look at how sexy I am, dude. Like I mean look, look. Put your boners away. Wipe up your fucking clams. Okay, ladies, wipe up your clams. All right, and shut the fuck up and listen to what I'm talking about. I want to talk about a couple things that you have to get used to when you move to Cambodia. At least, at least for me. You know, because again, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I can only really speak for myself. But I think most people, like most expats and or tourists would agree. So I'm going to talk about a couple things you might have to get used to um, in terms of culture shock when you come to Phnom Penh at least. Number one, it's fucking hot, guys. It's hot as, it's hot as the devil's crotch, okay? Now for you non-Americans out there, it's, it's probably about anywhere from 30 degrees to 35, maybe upwards of 40, 40 degrees sometimes. And for my, my, my American folks who actually fucking, you know, speak, speak English, how, how ignorant is that, guys? How, how fucking stupid am I right now? <laughs> for, for Americans who speak real English, um, it's, it's, you know, it's anywhere from like 95 to 105 degrees and at very high humidity. So, number one, you're gonna be hot. Literally, literally, you're gonna be hot. Literally, literally, most of the time. It's gonna be hot as fuck unless you have AC. Um, because it's hot and humid out here, it, it just is. It's it's Southeast Asia, but it but it has its benefits too because like it's sunny, you get vitamin D in your skin, which is great for your health, um, you know, and and it just it's better than being cold all the time, right? Like because when I moved here, it was cold, like you wouldn't believe, man. I mean, like I like I would have a piece of snot coming out of my nose and it would turn to fucking ice before it hit my lip, you know. It's like I could lick it like as a snack or something, like a like, like a like a little ice snack. Pretty pretty gross. Yeah, so it's hot. Um, you're 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 gonna be sweaty. You're just gonna be sweaty. Now I'm I'm getting a little bit better with it. Like my I think my body's adjusted a little bit. But if you're the type of person where you always have to be completely dry and fresh, you're pro you're probably gonna have a hard time out here. I mean you're ju you're just gonna sweat. It's just how it goes. Um. Another thing is the traffic. Now, I want to say something. It might piss some people off, but you know I'm no joke. I don't give a fuck, dude. I'm, I'm going to tell you anyway. Uh, have, you, have you ever heard the stereotype that Asian people are terrible fucking drivers? They, like, they're literally the worst drivers on the planet. Well, if I say Asians are the worst drivers, you, you automatically know what part of Asia I'm talking about because Asia is the largest continent on the planet all the way from Turkey all the way to fucking Japan okay but you automatically assume I'm talking about Eastern Asian people yeah yeah I did it yeah I did I don't give a fuck dude okay I don't fucking care or Southeast Asia okay um, that is because you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know that people from Southeast Asia and Asia, or, e or Eastern Asia, excuse me, are shitty ass drivers. Especially in the States. Now, when you come to Phnom Penh or any, like Thailand or maybe Viet Vietnam, I've, I've never been to Vietnam, but if you come to Cambodia at least, dude, the drivers out here are reckless like you would not believe. Like, I don't know how everybody's not just dead right now. Like, I like I should be the only person alive because I'm an amazing driver. But I've seen some fucked up car accidents out here, man. Like, there's been people that got killed, they got fucking splattered, and, like, I've seen it, dude, and it's fucked up. But the thing is, is the police don't even care because it's just expected. There's no traffic enforcement at all. Some intersections have red lights and green lights, but it's just a suggestion like it like like if it's a red light and you want to go just fucking hit the gas and make everybody else stop and ca cause a 20 car pile up and nobody's even going to say shit the police don't even care 
There, there is zero traffic enforcement out here. There is complete fucking chaos. Now, I ride my bike, so I can kind of zig and zag through like the little crevice. I'm sorry, crevasses. I can, I, I can, wear, I can worm my way through the crevasses of the traffic here. Um, yeah, I'm making fun of the English accent. I, I don't give a shit, dude. Make, make fun of my dumbass American accent with my stupid fucking big baseball hat, okay? I don't give a fuck, man. Um, yeah, so the crazy traffic is something that you're going to have to get used to. What else are you going to have to get used to? Oh, yeah, beggars. Now, I lived in Atlanta, Georgia, and Washington, D.C. for, you know, for many years. Like, you know, like just combined with both cities, I, I lived there for several years. And there's plenty of homeless people out there, always begging for change, trying to fucking scam you. Oh, I need water. Give me some water. And then you go buy them water and, you know, well, or, or they, they, they just want you to give them money for the water so they can go get cracked or whatever. And then I would go get the bitch water and, and she was just gone. So I, so I looked like a dumbass. But anyways, I digress. In my book coming out, No Joke Howard Presents Stop Being a Bitch and Move to Cambodia, I talk about all this. I talk about child beggars. I talk about um, prostitutes. I talk about ch uh, child prostitution because it exists here. A lot of people come here just to fuck kids. It's true. I've, I've been offered little girls and little boys on many occasions. Um, and, you know... I just, I, you know, it's, it's, it's fucked up, man, but it's just the reality out here because people need to make money. Um, I talk about scams and what to look out for. So there's going to be a lot of shady people trying to scam you. Just, guys, just, if you get, if you have anybody asking you for money, just keep, just keep on walking. Keep on walking. Um, another thing you're going to have to get used to is the fact that everything's way fucking cheaper out here, which is awesome, right? I mean, for example, like you, like you could easily eat very well if if you know where to go. You you can eat very well for no more than five dollars a day. That includes three very square meals, good portion meals, healthy. You know, all with meat, vegetables, rice, good, amazing flavors. Coffee, you can get coffee, uh, plenty of water for for no more than five bucks a day. And that's for a foreigner, because usually foreigners get charged a little bit more than the Khmer people, which, you know, like, I can't really bitch about it, because back in America, like, like I'm lucky to go out, you know, for a meal for less than eight, you know, eight or nine bucks, you know, I mean, shit, so I can't really bitch about the fact that I can, you know, have a $5 bill and eat well for the whole day, maybe even two days, if... If, if you really know where to go. And I and I do know where to go, by the way. Um, and, I'm, and I'm also gonna mention that in my new ebook. So those are some things you have to get used to. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, it's crazy traffic. Yeah, there's a lot of people out here that save face and don't admit that they're fucking up or stupid. Uh, there's a lot of car accidents out here, but just just use common sense and don't, and don't try to rush yourself. Just take your fucking time. Uh, you're gonna have to get used to scam artists, uh, homeless beggars, you know, just just say no, guys, just say no. Um, it's pretty easy to do. And you're going to have to get used to the fact that your money is going to go way further out here. So those are like four things that you have to get used to when you move to Cambodia. I'm going to keep putting videos out about what it's like to be here, the, the pros and cons, and it's, it's pretty much all pros. Obviously, if it was mostly cons, I'd have taken my white ass back to America and went back to my shitty job driving trucks. I'm 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 loving life out here, and I wish that my family would come out here, but they just they're they're just in their own mindset, and maybe they are happy back in the states. But anyways, guys, I'm No Joke Howard. Check me out on Facebook, No Joke Howard. Check out No Joke Boxing Club. That's Facebook.com/slash No Joke Boxing Club. Subscribe to my page. Just guys, I mean, look, look. Like why, like, why would you not subscribe to my page, all right? Put your fucking boner away, wipe up your cunt, and, and, and shut the fuck up and subscribe, dude. I'm going to keep putting out badass fucking videos, okay? And when my ebook comes out, you better buy it. You better buy my fucking ebook, bitch. All right, guys. I love you all, kind of. I'm No Joke Coward. Peace.